Hello students, welcome to Anne's classes. Let's do constructions, chapter 18. Page number 216, question 11. Construct a quadrilateral ABCD if, this is question 1, AB is 8 centimeters, BC is 5.4 centimeters, AD is 6 centimeters, angle A is 60 degrees and angle B is 75 degrees. So we have to construct a quadrilateral with all these measurements. Now we need to take a base first. The first thing we need to do is draw a base. Now which of these will we take as the base? AB or BC or AD. Now look at the angles that are given to you. Angle A and angle B. So when two angles are given to you like this, use those two as the sides. That means AB. So let's draw a rough figure. So we have AB here. First let's draw all four sides of a quadrilateral. So AB. Then we have BC, then we have CD, and this will be D, and then DA. Let's join it. Okay, so this is a quadrilateral. Let's write down the measurements. AB is 8 centimeters, BC is 5.4 centimeters, AD is 6 centimeters, that is here, AD is 6 centimeters, angle A is 60 degrees. And angle B is 75 degrees. So this is the side that will be drawn at the end. CD that will be drawn at the end. So this is what we have. These are the measurements that's given to us. This is what we will draw at the end. So based on this, we're going to use this as a reference. We're going to draw our quadrilateral. So first step, let's draw the base AB 8 centimeters. So measure 8 centimeters with your ruler and draw a line. A, B and this will be 8 centimeters. Now in the next step, you're going to construct 60 degrees at A. Now all of us know how to construct 60 degrees with the help of a compass. Now you can also use a, a protractor based on the instructions given by your teacher. Now if you're going to use a compass, then we draw an arc taking a suitable measurement on our compass. By placing the needle of the compass at the point A, draw an arc. Now placing it at this point where the arc has cut the line segment AB, draw one more arc. So this arc is the point of 60 degrees. Draw a straight line through that. So we have a straight line and we have constructed 60 degrees. So at A, we have 60 degrees. So we have done this part, we have got angle A is 60 degrees. Now let's construct 75 degrees at, at B. So at B we are going to construct 75 degrees, so we know how to do that. First we draw an arc and placing it here. Remember to draw the arc by placing it at point B, your compass. Now place one the uh, needle of the compass here at this point and cut one more arc. From there, we need to cut another arc. So this is 60, this is 120. We need to get 90 degrees first. So here we have an arc by placing it at this point. Then we place it at this point and cut the arc. Now this is 90 degrees. So we can draw a dotted line because that is not what is needed. So this is 90 degrees, but we need to get 75. Now what we're going to do is 60 and 90, the angle difference there is 30 degrees. So if we bisect that, we get 15. So if we get 15 degrees, then we can add it up to the, to the 60 degrees. 60 plus 15 will make it 75. So we are going to bisect six, this angle difference here, 30 degrees between 60 and 90. So placing your compass needle at the 60 degree angle, we're going to draw an arc. So we have an arc drawn there. Now placing your compass needle at the 90 degree mark here on this arc we're going to cut this arc so we have a point there point of intersection now draw a line from there so that line will mark 75 degrees at b because we have 60 plus 15 making that 75 so angle b is now 75 degrees so we have got the second part we've got angle a is 60 angle b is 75 now we have to get 6 centimeters and 5.4 centimeters. So take your compass, measure 6 centimeters, then place your compass needle at A and draw an arc 
here on the 60 degree line. So here we have a 60 degree line. Now mark this point as D. So we have D here. Let's mark that as D. So this is D and this is 6 centimeters. Similarly, now we are going to get this line BC, which is 5.4 centimeters. So measure 5.4 centimeters on your compass. Place the needle at B. So let's place it at B. And on the 75 degree line, let's draw an arc. So we have an arc here. Let's mark that as C. So that is point C. And that from BC is 5.4 centimeters. So we can write that. 5.4 centimeters. Now we just have to join D and C, the point of intersection that we see there. Join D and C. So we have this line CD. So now we have our quadrilateral A, B, C, D. Let's see whether we have followed all instructions. We have A, B, 8 centimeters. Yes. We have angle A is 60 degrees. We have done that. Angle B is 75 degrees. We have constructed. A, D is 6 centimeters. We have got that. And B, C is 5.4 centimeters. And once you draw this, you have your quadrilateral. So, A, B, C, D is the required quadrilateral. Question 2. We have all these measurements given to us. Let's follow and draw a quadrilateral. A, B is 6 centimeters and that is equal to A, C. B, C is given C, D and A, D. So let's draw a quadrilateral with base AB first. So we have AB here and let's draw all other sides also. And then we have BC, we have CD and then we have DA. So this is a rough figure. Now let's follow this. AB is 6 centimeters. So AB is going to be 6 centimeters. That is also equal to AC. Now where are A and C? A is here and C is here. That means AC is the diagonal. So let's draw the diagonal and that is also 6 centimeters. So we have 6 centimeters. Then we have BC is 4 centimeters. So we have BC here and BC is 4 centimeters. CD is 5 centimeters and AD is 4.5 centimeters. So we have our rough figure ready. Based on this, we are going to draw our final quadrilateral. The first thing is we are going to draw the base. AB is 6 centimeters. So let's draw that. So we have a line drawn here. This is 6 centimeters. Measure it with your ruler. So this is AB, 6 centimeters. Then the next thing is AC. Now this is also equal to 6 centimeters. So AC is here. We're going to draw this diagonal. So what do we do? We place our compass needle at A here. Measure 6 centimeters on the compass. So we take the radius of 6 centimeters, placing it at A. We're going to draw an arc like this because it's a diagonal as you can see the rough figure. So we're going to draw an arc. We have one arc there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to place a compass needle at B, take 4 centimeters and cut this arc that we have drawn here. So here now we have cut the arc. How did we get that? We took 4 centimeters, placed it at B and cut the arc. This point of intersection of the two arcs, we are going to name it as C. Now we can join AC because AC is the diagonal and that is 6 centimeters. We can also join BC. So BC is 4 centimeters. Now we are going to continue. So we got AB, we've got AC and we've got BC. Now we need to get CD and AD. So here let's see CD measurement is given as 5 centimeters and AD as 4.5 4 centimeters. So we can place a compass at A and mark 4.5 centimeters radius and draw an arc. We have an arc drawn. Now place it at C and get 5 centimeters on your compass and cut this arc. So we have cut the arc. So this measurement is now D. This point of intersection where the two arcs have met is D. Now from D you can join A and from D you can also join C. So let's do that. So we have a line draw, joining A here, AD and another line here so that is CD. So now we have got our quadrilateral. Let's write all the measurements. Now here CD is 5 centimeters. So this is 5 centimeters. 
and AD is 4.5 centimeters. So this is 4.5 centimeters. So we have got our quadrilateral and ABCD is the required quadrilateral. In the third one, we have AB is equal to AD, which is equal to 5 centimeters. BD is 7 centimeters and BC is equal to DC, which is equal to 5.5 centimeters. So let's get our rough figure. So here, let's make this AB. So this is AB. This is 5 centimeters. Let's get all four sides. So here we have BC. Then we have CD and then we have AD. Now let's go to the question. AB is equal to AD. That means AB and AD are equal. If AB is 5 centimeters, AD is also equal to 5 centimeters. Then we have BD is 7 centimeters. So where is BD? B is here and D is here. That means that's a diagonal and that is 7 centimeters. So the diagonal here is 7 centimeters. Then we have BC is equal to DC. That means this one and this one are equal and both are 5.5 centimeters. So this is also 5.5 centimeters. So now let's begin to draw our quadrilateral. So the first step we're going to draw AB which is equal to 5 centimeters. So AB this is equal to 5 centimeters. Now let's continue with the question here. Now that is equal to AD. So here AD is also 5 centimeters. So let's take 5 centimeters on our compass. Place our compass needle at A and cut an arc. So we're going to place it at A, cut an arc of 5 centimeters. So we have an arc cut here of 5 centimeters. Now we are to also told BD, that is BD is 7 centimeters. So we can take 7 centimeters on our compass place it at B. So place it at B and cut this arc which has been drawn here. So let's cut that arc. So here the two arcs have met at a point and that point we can call it D. So this is the point of intersection and that is D. So now we can join A and D. So we get AD which is equal to 5 centimeters. So this is equal to 5 centimeters and we can also join B and D. Like shown as it is shown here in the rough figure, B and D is the diagonal. So let's join that. So we've joined B and D and that is 7 centimeters. So B, D is 7 centimeters. Now we can go on to B, C which is 5.5 centimeters. So on your compass, take 5.5 centimeters, place your needle at B and draw an arc. So we have an arc drawn. And DC is also 5.5 centimeters. So place your compass at D, take 5.5 centimeters and cut this arc. So this arc is cut here now. So once you cut this arc, that point of intersection is C. So this is the point of intersection C. Now we can join DC and BC. So let's do that. So we have joined DC. Now we can join BC and now we have got our quadrilateral A, B, C and D. So A, B, C, D is the required quadrilateral. We'll stop with that for now children. In our next video, we will continue with the remaining questions. Thank you children.